So for today, the first topic is some important indices. So many of these indices are defined using the three adverb limits we introduced. So we're going to go through five indices today, and then I'll talk about the usage and the purpose of these indices and adverb limits in general. So that's the plan for today. Uh, there are five indices we're going to go over today. Plastic index, liquidity index, consistency index, activity, and sensitivity. The first index is called plastic index, or PI. And the plastic index is basically the range of water over which, or range of water content over which soil remains plastic. So it's calculated using two adverb limits. It's LL minus PL. LL, again, liquid limit, and PL, plastic limit. So that's the range of water content over which soil remains plastic. And this PI is important in classifying fine-grained soils. Next week, we're going to talk about soil classification. And you will see that PI is an important index used to classify fine-grained soils. And PI is fundamental to plasticity chart. which is used as the basis for classifying fine grain soil in the USCS system. So USCS Unified Soil Classification System, we're going to go over in more detail next week. And this table here shows the qualitative description of soil based on its PI value. So if PI is zero, non-plastic, and if PI is greater than 40, the soil has very high plasticity. So there's just uh, some qualitative description. So that's the first index, plastic index. And the second index is called liquidity index. So liquidity index is a measure of in situ or what natural water content of soil in between its liquid limit and plastic limit. So this definition is similar to relative density, which measures the in situ void ratio in between E min and E max. Li is defined as we have the in situ or natural water content of W minus plastic limit over LL minus PI, PL. So that's the definition of liquid index. This W again, that's the in situ or natural water content. And based on LI value, you can tell the, um, the consistency of soil, the proper state. So when LI is smaller than zero, Soil is non-plastic. So this Li, if you look at the definition, Li is smaller than zero when the natural water content W is smaller than its plastic limit. So that's when Li is smaller than zero. In between zero and one, soil is plastic. And this is when the natural water content is in between its plastic and the liquid limit. And when Li is greater than one, then soil behaves like a viscous fluid. And this happens when natural water content is greater than its liquid limit. And this LI, liquidity index, is commonly used to uh, identify sensitive soil. So for sensitive clays, the liquidity index is greater than one. And for some over-consolidated clays, liquidity index may be smaller than one. So this terminology here, over-consolidated clays, will cover this in chapter 11, compressibility of soil. So we'll talk about consolidation later in this course. So that's the second index. And then the third one, uh, this is called consistency index. So CI is actually very similar to LI. It also describes the natural water content in relation to the plastic and the liquid limit. So the definition of CI is LL minus small w, LL minus PL. And again, this W here, small w, this is in situ water content. 
if you compare CI and LI definitions, you see they they both measure where what in situ water content is in between uh, liquid limit and plastic limit. And this CI is commonly used for engineering purposes, and we have a pretty good correlation between CI and the strength of soil. So here, this table shows this unconfined compressive strength and its relation to CI, something we'll cover in chapter 12. So when we talk about shear strength of soil, so we'll define this unconfined compressive strength and how to measure these strengths. So that's CI. For CI definition, if the water content, in situ water content is the same as liquid limit, CI is zero. And when uh, W is the same as PL, then uh, CI is one. So that's the third one. The fourth index is called activity. And this activity we call capital A. So this is defined as PI, the plastic index over the percent of clay sized fractions. And this clay size fraction is defined as particles that are finer than two microns. So that's a definition of activity. And this A is used as an index for identifying swelling potential for clay soils. So that's the fourth index activity. And the last one, the fifth one, this is sensitivity. So sensitivity, uh, this quantifies the change of undrained shear strength CU after remolding in the definition of this ST sensitivity is CU, which is undrained shear strength. Again, something we'll cover in chapter 12. So CU of undisturbed over CU of remoted. So as I put here, um, for liquidity, liquidity index, we said it's a good indicator of the sensitivity of clay. So if liquidity index is greater than one, a soil, the clay is likely to be sensitive. And the sensitivity is quantified using this ST. So basically how much strength soil loses upon remolding. So we'll talk more again in chapter 12 on shear strength of soil. So that's the fifth index sensitivity.